Hey guys, Todd Reek here, and uh, I want to talk about something that we can help our other family members, uh, which is our pets. So let me try to figure out how to invite someone on here, because I have a special guest today. Okay. Let me see if I can figure out how to do this. Okay, I just invited her. And let's see if she comes on here. Can you see There's me? Bobby. Everybody, this is Bobby Raffin, a great friend of mine. And we're going to talk about something we can do for our other family members, which are our pets. Because if anyone has pets, everybody knows that they're family too. Good morning, Bobby. How are you? Good morning, Todd. I'm doing really great. How are you doing? Fantastic. Fantastic. Awesome. So uh, just to let everybody know what we're going to talk about is, you know, yes, our pets. Because our pets, they go through the same kind of things that we go through as well. So what, how can we help them? How can we help our pets? And what I'm going to talk about today is CBD infused pet treats. And what CBD is, uh, comes from the hemp plant, but it's got the healing properties and it does amazing things for our pets. And I've got some information here. I can grab it, you know, it'll help them with our pets with anxiety. It's anti-inflammatory. It helps them with their appetite, behavioral issues. Um, I know a lot of pets, when we leave or something, they kind of freak out, you know, they get anxiety. It helps with that. Helps them with pain and much more. And it's safe for all animals. I mean, I'm a German Shepherd lover. I've had German Shepherds. I love German Shepherds, but this is safe for all animals. And, you know, we can give you all the information, you know, if you want it, just contact us, contact me or contact Bobby, and we can give you all the information. But I'm going to let Bobby speak for a second. Bobby, what kind of experiences have you had with the CBD oil products? Well, for, as far as my pets, um, I've had great results with uh, CBD in my pets. My, my pit bull has some awful joint issues in his knees because he's kind of crazy and he would run so fast. And I mean, he was the fastest dog I've ever seen run. But because of that, he messed his knees up really quick. He's only uh, three years old. And so um, the vet told us, you know, there's nothing we can really do about about it because uh, the ligaments have just been destroyed. And so I started giving him CBD oil and the swelling went down. His, his knees look normal now and he's not limping. And um, I've started actually putting the oil in. Um, I made an incentive. He also, he's got a lot of issues, <laughs> this dog. <laughs> we always get the, the, the ones with uh, all the issues. But he's also got this very rare form of... Um, uh, allergic tumor things he gets from stress and anxiety. And so I made a mixture of essential oils for him before to kind of relieve that itchiness, that itchy feeling. And it's helped a little bit, but I started putting CBD oil in that mixture and the redness is going down. Um, the bumps all over him are going down and he's, he's just doing awesome. And we have another pup. Um, she's actually, I believe her name's Lucy. She's like this teeny tiny uh, poodle about that big. <laughs> and um, I adopted her. He, uh, she was my husband's um, son's dog and he went off to college. So I adopted her <laughs> and uh, she's got awful issues with her joints 
teeth and no appetite and sore teeth and all of that. Just really old little girl. And so I started giving her CBD oil and uh, she actually sits pretty for it now. She, when I grab the bottle, she will come up and set pretty for it. She hops all over the place. Um, she jumps around now. And before I was carrying her down the stairs uh, to get outside to go potty, she couldn't walk the steps. And so now she just trots all over the place and it's just amazing the difference that this stuff has made in my critters. It's really good. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. And just to let you know what Bobby was talking about, we also have a bacon-flavored CBD oil that you can add to their food, or do you just give it to them, Bobby, or do you add it to their food, or how do you give them the, the CBD oil, the bacon-flavored CBD oil? Well, I also give it to our cat and with, with our cat, she's got some allergy issues also, and she has seizures. So she won't take it from the bottle, like with drops. So I put it on top of her food and she devours her food that way. She loves it. Uh, with the dogs, I actually just hold it up and they come running to it now and I just drop it in their mouth and it's great. They, they want more and more of it. <laughs> right. So another question, do your dogs like the treats? These are beef flavored treats. Do your dogs like them? They devour them. They, they love them so much. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. <laughs> so you've noticed a difference just by feeding them these treats that they think are just candy to them. You've noticed a difference in the way they feel and how they act, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. The other dog we have, well, we have the two and a fourth, you know, the tiny one, but the other dog is a mix of uh, Rottweiler and Doberman and German Shepherd and Black Lab. And this, this guy, uh, he's pretty tall, but really, really skinny. And he has this food issue and um, he seems afraid to eat. We've been working with him, but it really hasn't helped much. And I noticed that after uh, he gets some drops of CBD oil, he'll run right to the food and start eating. Before I was, I was wanting to give it to him after he ate, you know, not taking it on the empty tummy and stuff, but it works awesome getting that dog to eat. So I don't know what it has to do with that, but it's really great. <laughs> Wow, because you know on this literature right here, it says it helps them with appetite. So you found that to be absolutely true. Right, right. And I didn't even realize that before. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. I know me having German Shepherds. I mean, I love German Shepherds, but they have issues with hip dysplasia really bad. And it just kills you to watch them walk when they start getting older and, and they have a hard time walking. And I know it broke my heart just to watch my German shepherds try to go upstairs when they used to be able to just like bound up the stairs and not even hit the steps. And now they can barely make it up the stairs and it just breaks your heart and you want to help them any way you can because if anyone's a dog owner out there, you know their family. I mean, they're so excited to see you every time you get home. They just, they like just jump out of their skins and just want to love up on you. And how can we treat them any differently? I mean, we got to love up on them back because they give us so much. It's only right for us to give them so much as well. Absolutely. And do you agree, Bobby? I mean, seriously? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, if you're not an animal lover, you may not understand, and that's fine. But, oh, my gosh, my critters are, are so important to all of us. I mean, we've had, my kids and I have had uh, pets, you know, all of our lives, all of their lives. I grew up on a farm, so I understand the farm life and, you know, uh, growing your own meat and stuff, but I also understand being humane and loving towards the critters, and and I just, I love dogs so much. They are just, uh, 
they just, like you said, they become family. They absolutely do. Um, they have hearts. Anyone that says that uh, critters don't have feelings, um, you haven't tried to get to know them <laughs> because they do. They act like little kids. Uh, they're, they're fun. They're hilarious. <laughs> and they all have different personalities. They all have yeah. different personalities. And yeah, they are. They're like little furry humans. And well, they're better <laughs> than humans in my opinion. But, you know, that's just me. I mean, dogs can give you so much love. And let me ask you this, Bobby. I don't have any cats. Have you noticed any difference with your cats? Because you've been giving this to your cats too. Um, have you noticed anything? Well, yeah, we have a, we have, again, we get all the strange critters. Um, I don't know if God sends them to us or what, but <laughs> we get the ones with the issues. <laughs> but we love them and we keep them forever. Um, we found, the kids and I found Blackberry in a Blackberry bush um, by a river when she was just a tiny, tiny little baby. She was maybe two months old if that and uh no family around you know no no human houses or, or uh, moms or anything like that around so we went ahead and took her home named her blackberry and she's the most bizarre kitty i have ever had uh she's very feral still we've had her for about oh my goodness about 12 years now and um, she's just, she's, that's her personality. She just wants to be free. And uh, she's got a nice little setup outside here and she comes in to eat. But with the allergies, her wanting to be this, you know, this wild free cat doesn't, doesn't really work well with her allergies on her skin very much. So we've had to do a lot of um, different like cortisone sprays and, uh, really, you know, keeping her treated for her skin, and I'm I'm seeing better results now that she's getting the the oil and her appetite. She was really bloated. We've given her medication before for like worms and such, and um, we've kept her in the house when she's had certain issues. Which she drives us nuts when we do that and tears stuff up. But anyway, uh, <laughs> um, but. She's had a real bad blow, and since she's been getting the oil, it is gone. She's like this little skinny mini now, but the bloat is gone. So I'm thinking she did have some worms that we weren't able to get rid of with the medication we gave her, and that actually probably helped. I, I have not talked to the vet about this one, so I don't have proof on that, but I'm thinking it did. And um, so now she's eating more too. She just scarfed up a whole bunch of food this morning and she's looking great. And I haven't noticed because she will just go into a full blown seizure. You can't do anything about it. And it's just so sad. And she's like, you know, uh, doing flops on the ground, just, you know, breaks our heart. And I haven't seen her do that for a while. So um, I'm really noticing some some good benefit from this for her too. So we're gonna we're gonna keep giving it to her. <laughs> right, right. That is fantastic, Bobby. I'm I'm so happy that you've had such good results with it. And I have heard of so many people that have had so many good results from given their pet CBD, because again, I'm going to say it again, our pets are family. In fact, you know, yeah, I, I can't tell you how much my dogs have meant to me. And I know they've meant everything to you. I see a lot of your videos and your dogs are always in the background, just hanging with you. And I love that. And they just give us so much. The only thing we can do is give them so much as well. I see that Robert Hollis is on here. Robert Hollis, nice to see you on here. Um, Robert Hollis, amazing man. But what I am going to do, and I'll just say this real quick, I am going to give somebody a bag of the CBD dog treats, or I will give them a bottle of the CBD oil, the bacon-flavored oil, your choice. I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to... You don't have to pay for shipping or anything. I'll cover that. I'll just send it right to you. 
But what you have to do to get in the drawing, which I'm going to give away next Saturday, is comment below, and I'll put your name in the drawing. But if you share this live with someone else, I'm going to put your name in the drawing three times. So if you share this with someone else who has pets, who wants to help your pets, and share this with them, you're going to get your name in the drawing three times, so it increases your odds of winning. And I'm going to give this away on Saturday. Your choice, the CBD bacon flavored oil or the beet flavored CBD dog treats. And your chances of winning are more. So you're going to be able to help your friend by sharing this information with them. And you may also get, get it sent to you free of charge. And then I would love to see what this does for your pets and how it helps your pets too. So wow, anyways, amazing, um, <laughs> somebody's going to well, be pretty yes, lucky. But, you know, feel free to reach out to Bobby, um, Bobby Raffin. I'll give you her information. Uh, you can reach out to me. I'll give you the information. There is a ton of information that we can give you. And I'm not going to sit here and read it all to you, but it talks about how, how it helps your pets in so many ways. I mean, all the way down. I can give you all that information. Bobby can get you all that information. And I'm going to share this video with other people. So whoever you got this video from, reach out to them. And they can help you too. Because that's what it's all about. Let's help our family. Let's help our pets. And they'll thank you for it. And you'll be glad you did because we all want to help our pets. And I'll just leave it at that. Bobby, do you have anything else to say? Well, I just want to thank you so much for asking me to, you know, do this with you. This is so fun and awesome. We need to do this again. This is, I loved it so much. And, and people need to understand, you know, a lot of people don't realize that there is actual stuff we can give our critters that's really going to help them. And they love it. They absolutely beg for it. It's crazy. Um, I've tried to get pictures, but I need to get my kids to help me because, you know, they're all crazy so I've got blurred pictures <laughs> of them trying to beg and run around and get it so no it's awesome and thank you Todd for this this is a lot of fun I appreciate it well Bobby thank you so much for coming on and you know reach out to us reach out to me reach out to Bobby I'll probably get Janessa Roberts on here who her business and her life is all about animals and all about yeah. pets and I'll probably get her on here too. And we're just going to help everybody and everybody's pets. So feel free to comment on this, like this, and share this. And the more you share it, the more names you'll get in the drawing. And next Saturday, I will announce who wins. And I'll, I'll just ship it to you free of charge. It's yours. And then you can see what it does to your pets. Because that's the best proof right there. Go ahead and give it to them. Because your pets will tell you. And the nice thing is people can get a placebo effect. They think, oh, well, if I take this, it'll help. And it does because they have the placebo effect. Mm -hmm. But pets don't have that. It either works or it doesn't. True. Because they don't know. The placebo effect doesn't mean anything to them because they don't even know what it is. But if you see your pet climbing the stairs better, walking better, being more playful, then you know it works. And that is awesome evidence right there, just seeing the results. So anyways, reach out to me, reach out to Bobby, reach out to anybody else who shares this with you, reach out to them and we'll hook you guys up. We'll get you all the information you want. So again, thank you so much for coming on, Bobby. I really appreciate it. Thank you for dropping by, Robert. You're amazing. Thank you very much. And I saw a lot of other people hop in and drop in. Thank you, guys. And we'll be talking to you on the next slide. Bye. See you, guys.